Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise, Quintesson Judge. I have been looking for this guy forever. I can't find him anywhere online, and when I do, he's like double or triple in prices. And I have to give a big shout out to 80s Toys of Princeton, West Virginia, who I visited back in December with Bert the Stormtrooper. He posted a picture of this guy in his stock. And I sent him a quick message via Facebook. I was like, hey, I would love to have that Quintesson Judge. A quick PayPal transaction later, and he is in my hand. So Matt from 80s Toys in Princeton, West Virginia, thank you so much. Now let's take a quick look at the Judge in the packaging. You've got the Quintesson Judge right here with his death face facing forward. And I can see a couple of the other faces right there on the side. So I do believe there is some assembly required with this figure. Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise. Side of the box has some great artwork of the Quintesson Judge. Back of the package, you got the Judge, the rotating face gimmick, and his transformation into that weird prison cell thing. So we'll find out more about that here later on. And there's more Earthrise artwork on the side. So now, without further ado, let's crack open the Judge and see if he was worth waiting on. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get the judge all opened up out of the package and assembled, you'll see he comes with the following items. He comes with a sheet of instructions, and just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a little blaster. I don't know why, but there it is. He has a blaster. He comes with his throne. An unpainted, but pretty well detailed, nicely sculpted throne. You get this energy beam right here. This is kind of his stand, because without this, he is just going to flop over. And this is actually molded really well, except it's clear. Why in the world did they make this clear? You can see the spring mechanism. It has a release mechanism right here. You can see the clips moving up and down. I hate the fact that it's clear, but you just snap that into the judge here. Let's see. There's only a couple ways to do it. I like to have the release on the back. So let's see, we'll do it this way. So pretty much the front right here, the death face, is the front of the Quintesson. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Quintesson Judge. This guy is really cool looking. He looks just like he did in the 1986 movie, and I dig it. Great sculpted details, taking a look at the faces. This is death. <laughs> What's really awesome, I have a ring light, and you can see it looks like it has pupils. He follows you wherever you go. That's awesome. So anyway, this is Death. Greatly sculpted. He actually has a moving lower jaw, which is really cool. I dig that. Right here, this is Wisdom. 
His mouth does not move, but still very well sculpted. This here is Wrath. This is my second favorite face. Kind of looks like a devil. It's got the horns up here. Great paint details and a moving jaw. This here is Judgment. Another well-sculpted face. Lots of details. No moving mouth with this guy. And lastly, we have War. War. He's probably my least favorite face because he just, I don't know, this face looks goofy, but still a greatly sculpted goofy face and no mouth movement with this one either really really cool looking figure now he does have a gimmick there is a lever right here on the back so what you want to do you want to get your forefinger on this section your thumb here and that enables the five faces of darkness to turn it's a pretty cool gimmick it doesn't really give you a random face it just kind of it doesn't line them up perfect but still pretty cool gimmick he's got these arms or tentacles rather they're a very soft plastic there's not much posability to them but i mean you can maneuver them around a little bit i think it would have been better if they had like a wire on the inside actually this one has okay there's a hinge here this one can move up and down. Let's check. Okay, I am surprised. I did not notice this earlier. There is hinges. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is hinges right here for the arms. That's cool. I did not notice that until right now. So I dig that. That's awesome. Now, he does come with his little gun. And with the gun, what you're supposed to do is, let's see. Let's flip Wrath around here. Get him on the front. Like I said, I believe the front of the figure is right here. So we got death here in the front. We're going to take a tentacle. And the, all the tentacles have this little peg right here that you're going to slot up in this hole. And drop the stand. And then you're going to have a peg right here that slots into the peg hole on this gun. If I can do it. Never do these things on camera. I can discover new joints, but I can't attach weapons. All right, hold on. Okay, trying to peg in that soft plastic into that gun was a challenge, but peg that back into the body, and that way the Quintesson is kind of holding his gun forward. So there's an option. There's something you can do if you don't want to peg it in. I just unpeg it, and he's just waving it around like a madman let's go ahead and get his stand back installed now you can put him onto the throne right here using the stand and you can barely see it but there is two peg holes if the light will catch it peg hole there and a peg hole here you just match a peg hole up and that'll put him on his throne fairly secure it's it's not too bad but there you go, the Quintesson Judge sitting on his throne, ready to lay down some just justice. Now let's get the Judge transformed. And what we're going to do is remove the weapon, take the Judge off the throne. And with the throne, you're just going to simply open these sections and lay it flat. So it's going to look like this. That's all you need to do with that section here. Now we're going to take the beam, the stand, not sure what to call that. Pop that off. Now right here, we're going to take his dome off, put that to the side, and we're going to take the faces, and under each face right here is a little tab. You're going to lift this up and bring the faces all the way up. You're going to do that for all five. Bringing them up just like so. Now you have these little panels right here. You're going to bring these down. Now there's only one. Let me find it. This is the main panel. This is the one you're going to flip down. And you see it's got these two tabs right here. Make sure they line up with these notches, which will lock it into place. So now we have that ramp down, and that has an opening right there. These other ramps, there is no opening. So you want to bring these all the way down. 
And there's also little pegs here. You want to try to line those up accordingly. They snap into place pretty good. And like I said, they're on double hinges, so you'll make sure and get them lined up just right. There we go. I think we got one more. All right, so now we have the panels down, the ramps down. We're going to take the throne and attach it right here to this main ramp. There we go. So now we've got this going on. I'm going to maneuver those tentacles out of the way. I think now you want to make sure all these tentacles are up. There we go. So now that sits a lot better. Now we've got the dome, and you're going to just simply release the cage from the dome. It's attached with those two holes right there via those two pegs. Now you're going to take the blast effect, the stand, and you got the two pegs. You're going to line up to the two peg holes, and I can't believe that went right in on the first try. And all you do is lay this in here, and it just doesn't fit very good at all. What I've discovered is some of the figures here move the jaws out or lower the jaws so they have those big chins that stick out. Gives it a little bit more stability. But you only have three heads that actually have the moving jaws. So now you got the main tower complete. You can take the weapon here and let's see. Now let's take the cage first. The cage has the peg holes and you just put the cage right there. And let me try to remember where that weapon goes. All right, according to the instructions, you're supposed to put the weapon on top of the cage. And then the cage just sits, sits there. So it doesn't peg into the base. But if you don't want to use the weapon, you got the peg. There you go. And that is it. That is the Quintesson Judge base mode or jail sale or whatever that's supposed to be. This reminds me of one of those Mighty Max play sets or one of those Micro Master, not Micro Masters, Micro Machine play sets. It's, uh, it's something. It's just, it, it's different. It's, it's odd. I guess they just had to add some sort of transforming gimmick to the Quintesson. It's really plain looking. You've got an area here you can put a Micro Master or Titan Master. Got some molded details. Back of the faces, nothing special to that. I mean, I'll be honest, this will probably be the last time I ever use this mode. Now, the cage can open up. It's on a hinge, and you can actually fit a Micro Master in here. So we'll take Groundhog, put him in the cage, secure that, and now we have Groundhog awaiting his judgment. I'm from West Virginia. We put groundhogs in cages. So there you go, guys. That is the Quintesson Judges base mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here's the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Quintesson Judge with Generation 1 Gnaw, Earthrise Quintesson Alicon, Cyberverse Gnaw, and a couple Titans Returns Sharkticons. I think it's awesome that Hasbro is finally giving us Quintessons. I've waited since the 1986 movie to add Quintessons to my collection. I mean, we've had Sharkticons pretty much since day one, but never any Quintessons. Now, there was that one Quintesson that came out, I think, in the Cybertron line where he was hid in a weird monster body. I had that one for a while, but it just nothing compared to the old school G1 look. And they nailed it with this one. This guy looks amazing. I love the fact that there is, you know, moving mouths on three of the figures. Looks really, really good. It's very cartoon accurate with the moving tentacles are definitely a plus. Couple drawbacks, I hate the clear blast effect. That should have been purple like it was in the movie. I know the Pit of Judgment set has a collared blast effect. I think it may be orange. I'll find out when I get that one. It's pre-ordered and on the way. 
The base mode for this guy, the base mode's pretty lame. Like I said, I will probably never use that again. But you can utilize the uh, cage in Quintesson mode and put you a Micro Master in there for a brain module and actually gives the figure a little bit more weight. So if you have an extra Micro Master or something you want to put in there to add a little weight to the figure, there you go. But all in all, a really cool figure, and I'm really glad to have him in my collection. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? I have. Does the Quintesson Judge belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic figure and a perfect love letter from Hasbro for us Generation 1 fans. I love this guy. He is so cartoon accurate. It's just amazing. They did a great job on this Quintesson. I love the little head spinning gimmick. <laughs> He's really, really cool. The only drawbacks, I am not a fan of his alt mode at all. It's just there, so they could call him a transformer. I would have much rather him skip the alt mode and instead maybe put in some electronics for this guy to give him a light up base. I mean, the clear base sucks, but if that would have glowed purple or orange or something like that, that would have been amazing and just really set this figure in orbit, in my opinion. But other than that, this guy is great and is going to look awesome on the shelf. So yeah, you see this figure, rush out, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed, and I'm sure nobody's going to judge you too harshly. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!